Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And Samsung just announced a new lineup of Windows laptops, including this one that they just sent over, the Galaxy Book Pro 360. Now the 360 is a two-in-one, so it flips around 360 degrees. These laptops come with the latest 11th gen Intel processors, along with an AMOLED display. There are two sizes, 13.3 inches or 15.6. Samsung sent over the 15 inch one. It's very clear the Galaxy Book Pro series is going for a slim and light form factor while still being powerful with those processors. Now the Pro 360 actually comes with an updated S Pen as well to use it like a tablet when you flip it all the way around. Now let's go ahead and unbox the new Galaxy Book Pro 360, take a look what comes inside and get some hands on with it. Let's get started. Here is the Galaxy Book Pro 360 from Samsung. Let's take a look what we get inside on the right side here. Right away is our power brick. This brick is USB type C and has Samsung super fast charging. And if you are interested, here's a quick look at the stats of it. Continuing through, we have our Galaxy Book Pro. I'm gonna set that to the side and let's see what else we have. Standard quick start guide, our USB Type-C to USB Type-C charging cable. And finally, we have our new S Pen. A close look at the design of the pen, very similar size to a regular pen. It also has a button here and different actions built into it. All right, on to what you came to see, the Galaxy Book Pro 360. I can already tell how crazy light this is, especially considering it's a 15.6 inch laptop. I can't even imagine how light the 13 inch model will be, but this is crazy. It's actually really thin as well. As always with my laptop videos, let's do a one-handed opening test. And that passed really well. I actually thought it was gonna struggle because of how light it is but it, you can actually easily open it up with one hand without having to hold down the bottom. Now, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this hardware. I really like this mystic blue color that they have on this laptop. It's really subtle blue. Anyways, on the left side, we've got two USB-C ports. You'll notice that Thunderbolt icon there with a status indicator for when it is charging. That is all for that moving along. There is a bit of an indent. So you can reach in and grasp again with one hand to open up that laptop lid. And then along the right side, let's take a look. Looks like we have another USB Type-C slot, headphone jack, and a micro SD card slot so you can expand the storage. And finally, a quick look at the back with that ventilation. Overall, a really good looking laptop. Just a quick look down at the bottom. It has grips in all four corners so it doesn't slide when you are using it and also offers some protection when you flip it all the way back into tablet mode. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and flip it all the way around for the first time. It is crazy how easy that actually is to flip uh, open. And there we go. Like I said, 360 degrees all the way around. Just use it as a tablet now. And a look at that keyboard. You've got your Intel Evo certification sticker. Let's you know there's an i7 in there. The trackpad is actually a really good size, uh, not too small whatsoever. And here is a look at the keyboard. We'll do a quick typing test a little later on. It even comes with a dedicated number pad on the right side. And you'll see here a fingerprint scanner. Of note, you might also wanna register your left pointer finger on that fingerprint scanner. So when you are using it in tablet mode, you can access it very easily. This fingerprint scanner also acts as the power button. So I'm going to boot up this laptop. This is a Windows laptop, remember. So I'm gonna run through the startup process, talk about anything that's noteworthy. So we are all set up with the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro. Again, this is an AMOLED display. So something similar you'll see on your phone which I'm really happy they included. I'd like to see a lot more laptops with AMOLED displays. At the bottom of the taskbar, I wanna make note of this app. This is Quick Share. So Samsung is enabling their Quick Share, which has been available on their mobile devices in the past. However, they're bringing it to Windows laptops. So you can transfer files between phones, laptops, and easily swap over data. Samsung did send me this laptop early, so it isn't quite out just yet. There's also some quick settings 
in the bottom right. If you'd like to switch the screen mode on the fly between natural photo editing, movie, DTI-P3, auto mode, or vivid AMOLED, which is their native screen mode. So I'm going to keep it on that. They have battery life extender. You can turn the keyboard backlight on or off, or of course use the uh, function shortcuts at the top of the keyboard. There's also different performance modes. So if you don't want any sound, you can turn the fan off, silent, or high performance. As always, let's do a quick typing test on this keyboard. It uses scissor switches with one millimeter of travel. Now let's put the Galaxy Book 360 into tablet mode. You'll notice auto rotate is on. So when you do actually rotate this laptop, you can use it vertically or horizontally. Now that we are in tablet mode, let's take a close look. You'll see the bezels are very minimal around this AMOLED display. And yes, this is a touch screen display. Of course, you don't just have to use the S Pen on the display, you can just use your finger if you'd like to. And with it running Windows, it does turn it into that tablet mode where you have some various gestures to get to your notifications and other ones. Before we check out the S Pen, I wanna make note that with this laptop, it really does open up that Samsung ecosystem that they have, not just with their quick share where you can transfer different files, but also if we scroll down into apps, there is a slew of different Samsung apps, including Samsung Dex, you have Care Plus, their Notes app, Samsung Flow, Samsung Free, their PC Cleaner. There's a ton of different apps that Samsung includes into this laptop. Link sharing is included to share different files just through a simple link. That has been really handy on Samsung phones in general. Live message has been a ton of fun on the Galaxy Note series, so pretty cool that they have added that into a Windows laptop just to add a creative little message. This S Pen does feel very responsive overall. Just a couple other noteworthy apps, Paint 3D and even the Pen Up app, which has been, again, a lot of fun on the Note series. There are also some separate Samsung settings, which are different from the Windows settings. You can go through easy Bluetooth connection, best AP. Within display, there is advanced color settings. So if you'd like it a little bit warmer, a little bit cooler, you can do that. There are power saving functions, battery settings to extend that battery life, different keyboard settings within camera. There's even a beauty filter option. If you want that on or off, you can customize these quick settings and even choose if you'd like to default to light or dark mode or just use whatever the system setting is. And like I'd mentioned, PenUp is a great app to do some art, do some coloring. However, the S Pen can be used for things such as writing notes down, especially if I'm signing something. The S Pen has been fantastic. Again, I've already used uh, an S Pen quite a bit, so it's nice that Samsung's including these with their laptops, especially because it does turn into a tablet, so you essentially have an S Pen for your tablet. Another great example of how you can use the S Pen within this laptop, let's say you're using it in tablet mode, you don't wanna bring up the virtual keyboard, so if you tap into an input, you can actually write whatever it is you're looking for. So I'm gonna type in pen, and it transcribes that and brings up a list of different options, so if I wanted to go into change pen settings, I can do that. Anyways, that is everything I want to talk about for now with the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360 with that Intel Core i7 processor. I'm really impressed overall so far. So more to come. Be sure to click that subscribe button. It's still crazy how thin and light this 15.6 inch laptop is. I'm really excited to test it out and actually use it. So again, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about these laptops. I'm really happy Samsung's getting some competition going in the laptop space, especially the portable laptop space. So anyways, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.